Once again, I want to say hello to my subscribers. Hey, how y'all doing today? Listen, I got a um, got a little short video for you guys today. A friend of mine, co-worker, his daughter, here in Palm Beach, they started, the superintendent of the Palm Beach district started a campaign, see something, say something, okay? They did this with the kids, and now, man, I'm telling you, these kids are taking on with this because of that shooting that happened in Parkland, Florida. Here to tell you a little something about that, Juliana, okay? Man, hear what she has to say. My name is Juliana, I'm 14 years old, and this is See Something, Say Something. Dr. Abosa, the superintendent of the Palm Beach County School District, has started a campaign called If You See Something, Say Something. Therefore, as a Palm Beach County student, I do see something, and I will say something. I see the recent shooting in Parkland, Florida, and I can't help but think our government is not taking proper action. Parkland is 28.4 miles away from my home. Parkland was considered one of the safest cities in Florida, but now it'll only be remembered for this tragedy. A 19 year old man with a troubled past used an AR-15 rifle to kill 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Yet all politicians can focus on is that he had mental health issues. While there should be some focus on this, I urge you Senator Marco Rubio and Senator Bill Nelson to listen to the facts. This is not a mental health issue. This is a gun issue. According to an article published by CBS News, it states, compared to 22 other high income nations, the United States gun related murder rate is 25 times higher. And even though the United States suicide rate is similar to other countries, the nation's gun related suicide rate is eight times higher than high-income countries. In Florida, it is not required to have a permit or license to purchase a gun. The right to bear arms is found in the first article of Florida's constitution. And if you do have a gun, you must be issued a concealed weapons license or permit if you meet the requirements. You can buy as many guns as you want at one time and gun sellers are also not required to get a state license to sell firearms. Florida also does not regulate assault weapons, 50 caliber rifles, and large capacity ammunition magazines. Prior to researching this topic, I was not aware of how easy it is to purchase a gun in my state. The Model 82 is a 50 caliber rifle that has low felt recoil power with every pull of the trigger. This gun can easily kill many people and can also easily be purchased in the state of Florida. According to a CBS article, it states, compared to those in the same age groups in other wealthy countries, Americans aged 15 to 24 are 49 times more likely to be the victims of a gun-related murder. Among the victims of the Parkland shooting, seven of them were 14, two were 15, one was 16, three were 17, and four were above the age of 18. Most of the victims fall into that age category, which in total, there were 17 victims. Imagine if the gunman had bump stocks on his gun. The number of victims would have gone up significantly. The bump stock is not banned under the federal law. Although there are restrictions, it is still legal to purchase these bump stocks. According to an article written by the New York Times, it states, the stock bumps back and forth between the shooter's shoulder and trigger finger, causing the rifle to rapidly fire again and again. The bump stock notably changes the speed of already semi-automatic guns, making them fully automatic. Having more regulations on the bump stocks would greatly improve the safety of citizens in Florida and the US. Since mental health has been a recurrent topic, let's talk about mental health. The amount of mental health programs in schools is increasing. A few weeks ago, my school showed us a PowerPoint on depression. 
Most schools incorporate this into the already existing curriculum. However, this is not enough. Kids start showing signs of mental health issues in their early teens. It should be a priority to provide teens starting in middle school with more than just a PowerPoint. There are many gang prevention programs in place, but there are no programs for gun safety or teaching kids to be aware of gun violence. As a student in one of the top schools in the nation, every day I hear sirens. It never fails. There are constant ambulances and police cars passing my school every day. We have become desensitized to the violence. It has become our normal. Governor Rick Scott, would you want this to be your kids' new normal? I know that it is difficult to get something to pass, but I also know that you will never have to walk into school and you won't have to wonder if you'll be safe, if you'll be next. Every day I will have to count the exits in a room. I will have to think of all the places where I can hide. I can't even imagine being a student at Douglas High School. My generation is the future. We are future voters, politicians, doctors, and journalists. It is your job to protect our future. If you don't do something about this now, our future will be jeopardized. Don't get me wrong, I believe in the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. However, our founding fathers would agree that there needs to be a change on the type of arms and accessories and who can purchase them. In conclusion, my message to you, Governor Rick Scott, Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Bill Nelson, and all of our other government officials, your constituents are telling you that we see something. So our challenge to you is to please finally stand up and say something. There you have it, okay? You see that? See something, say something. Okay, even the babies are crying to these politicians. Even the babies are crying to the elected elected officials. What's going on, man? The babies are telling y'all put an end to this. Babies are telling y'all that. Mothers were crying for years. Fathers were doing the same thing as well. And now you hear babies, okay? You have kids that are going to Tallahassee. They're going to Washington, DC. You know what I mean? The Parkland students are doing that. You have kids that are marching from whatever in Boca Raton or wherever the case may be. They're doing their little thing, okay? Future politicians, future doctors, lawyers, journalists, they're doing this. And you elected officials, what are you all doing? 